Ready for some crispy, yummy pizza goodness? It's coming up next on That Grill Guy. Good morning. We're out in a heat warning today. Crazy hot and humid temperatures. We've had some crazy rains, thunderstorms, and lightning the last few days, but the humidity stuck with us. But we're not here to talk about that. Today, I'm gonna try cooking two pizzas. One on the barbecue, and the other one on the grill. Now, I've never done this before, so we're either gonna make a mess or we're gonna make some nice pizzas. Coming up now. Okay, folks, so what I've done here is I've preheated this pizza stone to about 350. I use my trusty thermometer to do that. And now I've got this grill on low. I'm gonna let it cook slowly. Okay, so I put quite a bit of cornmeal on here and I'm gonna just try to sort, sort of slide it on there. All right, and on this pizza here, it's just starting to melt, just starting to cook. It's gonna take a little while at this temperature, but I've got some prosciutto, some ham, and some mozzarella. I like my pizza relatively simple, and we're almost at camp today, and that's all we got, so that's what we're cooking. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. Okay, so this next pizza dough, I'm gonna cook directly on the griddle, and I feel it's gonna cook very quickly. So what I've done, or at least what I've thought of, is I'm gonna just kind of get it a little bit started on the griddle, nice and warm, and then I'm gonna put this out here. This is just, it's just a grill, just so it doesn't come in direct contact with the, the pizza dough on, on the surface, because I think it's just gonna cook really quick. I'm gonna turn it on low, and I'm gonna put a little lid on it, and hopefully it's gonna cook similar to the barbecue, but I think it's gonna cook a little bit quicker. So let's try that out. Okay, so for this thing, I'm gonna just put a little bit of oil down. What I've got here is just avocado oil. I don't want a whole lot. I don't really want to fry it, but I just want to keep it from sticking. So I'm going to thin that out. I also like to try out these shop towels here. I find the paper towels have quite a bit of lint in them, so I'm going to see if these do any better. So now, hopefully, see if I can get this started. So this griddle is on very low, and it's up to about 240. So I'm just gonna get this started. Like I said, I don't really want it to cook. I just wanna get it started so it can sit on that other grill. Okay. okay. Oh, look at that. So after about seven or eight minutes, looks like it's starting to cook a little bit. Bottom's slightly brown, but nowhere near ready yet. Okay, so the bottom is just very lightly starting to crust up. So I'm gonna try to flip this over now a little bit. Hopefully I do not make a big mess. I gotta do this quickly, and hopefully I don't make a mess. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of cornmeal here. Obviously I didn't want to, I didn't want it to stick. I might have added a little too much, but that's okay. I'd rather have it that way. Okay. So I haven't let this cook at all. I've got it just to the point where it's sort of sol solid and it's gonna move easily. I'm gonna flip it one more time, okay? Now I'm going to top it. This pizza dough was graciously made by Mrs. Grill Guy yesterday. She's got her own recipe. She's been working on it and it's getting quite delicious, let me tell you. This sauce is my very simple pizza sauce. I made this yesterday as well. And it basically consists of strained tomatoes, olive oil, oregano, garlic, and uh, I like to put just a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Just adds that nice little kick, a nice little extra flavor. Real simple, it took me about three or four minutes to prepare it, then I just let it simmer for about 20 minutes or so. And uh, if you don't like it this thick, you can let it simmer less. And it'll be a little bit thinner for you, but this is how we like it. You make it how you like it, we got no problem with that. So that's the sauce layer. Now we're all fans of prosciutto and ham. So I got a little bit of that here. We just kind of tore them up with our fingers. Oh, 
Okay. And of course, a nice layer of mozzarella cheese. Again, we don't like a super thick layer of mozzarella, but it's your pizza, you make it the way you like it. Modify my recipe, feel free, we're happy if you do that. Okay, all right, that's enough. Now, I want the top to cook, so I'm gonna use this little pan cover here, and we're gonna leave that for a little while. So the bottom's cooking up really nice. It's almost done, I just want this top a little bit soft. I'm just going to give it a few more minutes to cook that up. Now this one, yeah, it's still coming along slowly, but the mozzarella is uh, starting to melt. And I'll turn that one up a little bit. Oh, it's starting to bubble. Almost there. Oh, look at that. Bubbling beautifully. It looks like it's cooking perfect. Alright, let's cut into it. Oh, well, it's nice and crispy. Got a little bit of cornmeal that was left over, but that's actually very nicely done. Try a few small pieces here. Alright guys, so look at that. Toppings have nicely melted. I just let it cool down for a few minutes. And I'm gonna take a bite and see what we got. Mmm. Oh. Wow. It's actually cooked perfectly. Just a nice little crust on the bottom. The pizza sauce is excellent. Toppings are nicely cooked. I give that one a big thumbs up. Mm. Okay, so this pizza can do something happening here. Oh, it's bubbling, crisping up, ready to go. Let's cut in. So it did get nice and crispy, the way we like it. Okay, so that seems to be cooked pretty nicely. Bottom seems Nice and crispy, top seems done. Take a bite. Mm. Really good. In fact, I find it just as good as the pizza stone. So that's really good. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys cook on? Do you prefer to cook on a stone? Do you cook on the griddle? Do you do something else like I did here with the, the extra grill on top? I'd really like to know, but uh, I'll tell you, this is a, this is a pretty good piece of pizza.